A quick wrist check today, I'm wearing the Casio Royale, the legendary AE1200WH. Namaste, everybody. Finally, it's been four months since I started this channel, and this is the first time you are seeing a watch that is not a Casio. I hope you guys are happy, and if you are a Casio lover, I don't know if you are sad because the Casio streak is finally broken on this channel. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is a timepiece that has been generating quite the buzz among the watch enthusiasts in India and we are about to find out why. Let's not keep you guys waiting anymore. Let's dive right in. Say hello to Titan Octane Hyperloom Quartz Watch with reference number NP9011-3KP01. Wow. Just Look at that. The sleek design hints at the precision and craftsmanship that went into creating this beast. Except the strap, this looks like it could cost more than it does, but it is quartz, so it is affordable. The Titan Octane Hyperloom retails at Rs 10,995, but it is currently being sold at a discounted rate of Rs 6,595, but you can find it for cheaper with retailers such as Amazon and Flipkart. Let us now examine the star of the show for the first time here on TikTok Treasures. We will cover one aspect at a time. My first impression, it's stunning. The case is stainless steel. The case is brushed, which makes the watch exude a hint of sophistication. The build quality is exceptional and the fact that I got this for just rupees 4000 makes it feel extra special. The bezel is ratcheting, unidirectional and is an up counter with a scale of 0 to 60 which you can use to time events up to an hour, reminiscent of Rolex Submariner. Let us check if the bezel aligns with the chapter ring. It sure does. Good deal. Let's now check out the crown. It is a screw down crown. I don't like that the Titan logo is tilted in the screwed in position of the crown. My OCD just doesn't want to accept that. Turning it all the way up locks the crown in place. Let's quickly unlock or test its feel. Hmm, that feels good on the fingertips. Good grip. The case back is a screw down case back which looks pretty solid. It is stainless steel. The glass is mineral crystal, there is no bulge, but it has a bit of a hue. In fact, a lot of blue hue on it. Personally, not my thing, but I know a lot of people who like a bit of a hue on their crystal. The dial is bold alright, but I am not impressed. It is busier than Chandni Chalk. You see, there is beauty in simplicity. And this is where the Casio Duro excels with its simple dial. Being in the same price range, I think the Casio Duro has the upper hand. The chapter ring could have been simple and those sub-markers feel like a distraction. I understand they were going for a sporty look, but I feel there's no use for those sub-markers unless you guys know of one. I am neutral about the minute hand having the arrowhead instead of the hour hand. This is the opposite of Casio Duro. I guess both ways work. When you first look at this watch, especially the dial, you might think it is a chronograph but it is not. The subdials are for date and day of the week. With the branding, they have done the opposite of Rolex with the brand name Titan in small forms under Octane, which is the name of the series and that is in larger fonts. Personally, I don't prefer this. I would have preferred the Rolex way of upholding the Titan name. The water resistance of 200 meters is mentioned at the 6 o'clock position, marking this as a diver's watch. If any of you guys take this out diving and use it to time your dive and decompression stops, please let me know how it goes. People on the internet have been raving about the loom on this watch. I had to check it out personally. After all, the watch has hyperloom in its name. I personally feel that in the dark, the luminous hands and hour markers illuminate brilliantly, staying true to its name. I think people were right. Now, when I was done recording and I was ready to go to bed and I turned off the lights, I have a few watches lying on my desk and when I turned off the light, this watch stood out with its luminous markers. The loom on this is really brilliant, but 
how long the loom lasts i will have to test it out for a few weeks and let you guys know when i do the complete review the strap is tpu which is thermoplastic polyurethane which is somewhere between rubber and resin the pu straps are supposed to be environment friendly and skin friendly but only time will tell good pun and they are resilient to uv rays compared to the resin straps here we go i am trying this watch for the first time i have a wrist measuring 6.8 inch and surprisingly this feels comfortable i have to get used to the feel of tpu strap after having used only casio with their resin straps if you have a slender wrist the thickness of this watch will really show in conclusion, the Titan Octane Hyperloom feels like more than just a timepiece. It is trying to tell us that, look, I have style and a whole lot of craftsmanship has been applied on me. Whether you are a seasoned collector or someone looking to elevate their wrist game with a sporty look, or if you're looking for a watch that looks premium at an affordable price, then this watch takes all those boxes but i'm actually hoping that titan releases this watch re-releases this again with a better chapter ring which is less busy and with just hour markers and minute markers and nothing else thank you so much for watching this unboxing with me it was a first a non-casio watch titan octane hyperloom i hope you guys enjoyed it it is a decent watch i will have to test it out in the weeks to come so i can drop an honest unbiased review for you guys i am collecting like-minded individuals who are enthusiastic about watches or passionate about watches or watch collectors so please join our reddit community and interact with one another on a daily basis share pictures talk watches, talk non-watch related stuff too. So please join our community. For more such watch related content, stay tuned and stay classy.